I can see that when we were, we're singing the anthem, somebody has lifted the flag up. That was beautiful. This morning, we are here to lift the name of God on high. We are here to hail him as king and say that he alone is the Obua Adinyan Kupon. Amen.
On behalf of our father, Apostle Dr. Abraham Lamte, our mother, Lady Reverend Gloria Kafui Lamte, pastors and deacons of our beloved church, we wish you all a happy Independence Day. God has been good to Ghana over the past 65 years. Yet, many of us are unhappy and question whether God has abandoned Ghana. Well, allow the world to question God. As for us believers, every week God gives us wisdom through the preaching of our father, Apostle Dr. Abraham Lamte, about how we can make our nation great and strong. For example, imagine that this glass of water represents the well. And this earth stands for Ghana. Right now, it is clear that Ghana seems to be sinking. Now, let's take the same glass of water and add some salt. When we put our Ghana egg in the water that has been seasoned with salt, you can see that this time it is no longer sinking but floating. Fellow believer, you are the salt of the earth. If you want our country to change, then be the salt in your own little corner. Do not lose your flavor. Prove to your family and community that the Holy Spirit lives in you. Brighten the corner where you are and let the love of Christ be shown because the whole of Ghana is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. But maybe you have lost your saltness or feel there is nothing much you can do. Don't worry, you have come to the right place. Through God's words, you will be restored and empowered to go out there and make a difference. And who else is best positioned to give us the life-changing word of God? The man of faith himself, a great salt of our world. Please let us honor our dear father with a standing ovation and a clap offering as he comes to give us the word. sing again. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Ghanaian youth. Arise and shine. The future of our motherland lies on Ghanaian and you arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine, Ghani and youth arise.
before my sound is not helping and I don't know what you people have done before I ask you to sit in 1979 1980 1981 we had Ghana from 92 we started losing Ghana and started having NPP, NDC. Ebenezer. Even in our schools, we stopped teaching Ghana. And we started teaching NPP, NDC. Shame on all of us. For the first time in my 56 years, I really don't know whether we are celebrating safe match or not. Shame on everybody. Shame on all of us. Shame. That time we had Ghana. We did not have a shanty region. We did not have Greater Accra. We did not have Western. We did not have Volta. We did not have Northern. We did not have Bno. We did not have Central. We had Ghana. We had Ghana. That is why I sang the song, Arise and Shine, Ghanaian Youth. I didn't say Ashanti Youth. I didn't say Ga Youth. Ghanaian youth. Those days, history is taught about Ghana, not about tribes. The mess we find ourselves in now was the wrong foundation laid when MPP and DC came in. I will say it as it is. We had Ghana. Today, it ceases to be Ghana. It is now my party. So when NDC is in power, everybody's mind goes to Volta region. When MPP is in power, Sanya Chima Ebeya Sante. How many Ghanaians do I have here? You see how reluctant you are. Woman Jaku Ghana. Oh, my, ye be ye, a be ye, a be ye, ye. How many of you remember that song? You see, Yang Ara Assassin was written by a Voltarian. What the angel was she on? How do you sing it in heaven? Me a bing in Balola, in a woe, ye walk or see up, me a top yo, to open a day, did it when I meet. A don't ye clear woe, Hanchi, be me a woe, me a tossino. Pastor Nevis, can you give me the pledge? In fact, I will spare you because of the way your sister looked at me. She's like, Daddy, you are putting my brother in trouble. Those were the days when you hear the national anthem. You had goosebumps. You, you feel patriotic. The only differences we had in those days was by football. Hearts, Kotoko, Agosu, Hazakes, and Voradeb came to cause a mess. Stanfast, Auras. Oh, this team in the western region, 
11 wise. Cornerstone. Acotex. Band. Oh, Jesus. That was the only thing. And it was football. And after every match, when there is victory, you still see opposing supporters not fighting. Where is Ghana? Can all the youth of this nation from today declare that we are rising to look for Ghana? Are we declaring that we are rising to look for that beautiful country? Yesterday I went on Facebook to look for this movie, Kukurantumi Road to Accra. Because of today. Where is Ghana? All of you give me the pledge. Ready? Go. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Some people are hiding. <laughs> Let me stand here. Say first. No, all of us. Get up. Don't say because you are holding the camera, we will not see you. Put the camera too on yourselves. Rise up. Everybody. All of us. Let me stand where I can see. Joe, you don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. Hey, take it off. Take it off. Good. And don't put it on your screen there. So you people, Mr. Oku, in fact, all of you come out. All of you in the technical department, come out. All of you. Me, Dogo. Mr. Kwame, please. Over Whether you ask, Obed, don't think, in fact, somebody should monitor him from me. Mr. Oku, you are too slow. You are putting it there. You think I will see. Okay. Can we all, don't expect me to say it in the back room. You are not saying <laughs> Can we all say the pledge? Go. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself service. This is Ghana. About four of you. Surface, as for you, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, only a slave or a refugee has no country. This is Ghana. It is so saddening that you will meet a Ghanaian youth who will openly say that he or she does not see their future in Ghana. When a nation's own citizens no longer wants that nation, the spirit of the nation departs. You are not getting what I'm saying. When a nation's youth don't feel belonging again and they don't see their future in that nation, the spirit of the nation departs. Sixty-five years. Ghana. 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 Ghana man, ye wara wudu. Menka 
American style of governance can never succeed in Ghanaian style of life. Because we are not Americans. But we can pick the good things and add up to that which we have to raise a great nation. I am saying, sir, our stupidity began when we thought we could rule Ghana like we are ruling America. In Ghana, we thrive on families. Extended families. Same in Nigeria. Not nucleus family. Those days when your mother-in-law visits, it is Christmas. Today, when a mother-in-law visits, the daughter-in-law will smile. But when they go into the bedroom, the husband, whose mother just came, is in trouble. But when their mothers come, where is Ghana? Me and you, Ghana. I watched Kukurantubi Road to Accra about three times, so I slept very late today. I was trying to look at Ghana then. I wanted to add, I told you so. Now, when you see Ghanaian, you see, let me tell you, I will not beat about the bush. In every Nigerian movie, they will mix it with their local dialect. To say please, they will bring in Biko. They will say, Guinea. We lost this nation when we stopped teaching history. What else do I have to say? Are we not ashamed? We have to be ashamed and say to ourselves, we are bringing Ghana back. Damn NPP, damn NDC. Ghana belongs to we, the youth. Yes, including myself. I am not old. Let us starve a little to bring Ghana back. Then... I miss those days when another mother can discipline another mother's son or daughter. So every child is careful because you're qualified to be disciplined by or not. Where is Ghana? And you have people who are being controlled by money telling you a new year crisis. I was saying something that not all boxers practice boxing because they enjoy the sports. It is poverty that pushed them there. Can I say it again? Not all boxers 
are boxing because it is their favorite sport. If it is your favorite, you would love to sit and watch. 80% are boxing because of homo. I miss Ghana. I miss Ghana. I miss Ghana when, if it is August, every Ghana man is going to the village. Why do you think Kwaus love Easter? Because those, that was the only time the families come together and they see, tra it is Easter, but they see tradition. Family union. Mommy had a program for service today, but she didn't know how sad I am in my spirit for Ghana. Program Because do we say the pledge with a meaning? Do we mean it? I told the Dickens, I, she told the Dickens that they would say the pledge. And Mr. Fawo put it there. Everybody let it all and come and chew and pour. I miss Ghana. Those were the days when it is Independence Day. You are happy and proud. The first time myself and prisons band, armed forces band, police band, and air force at the Independence Square, I remember that day very well. When we are about playing the National anthem, and they struck all the drums. Urr, I wept. I fell in love with my country. Today, we are in love with how to come into power and make money, but not to make Ghana. Hey, all the noise you hear them make on radio, it is not for Ghana. It is for their stomach. Youth of Ghana, let us think and come together. We will not use gun, but we will use each other. We will hold our hands. Ghana people, make we rise up, make we fight if our land. We no go sit down, make them cheat us. Every Only my age mates remember the songs. So the youth of today, don't, they just love foreign things because they don't belong here anymore. Their spirits are not here. So the spirit of the land has also rejected them. The spirit of the nation is no longer protecting Ghana because his her children have rejected her. Their children no longer has love, compassion, and interest for her. And Ghana is bleeding. Where are my children? If God said in 2 Chronicles 4 that if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, do what? Seek my face. Turn away from their wicked ways and to pray then I, I, I. How many of you love Ghana? That is why I turned and gave you a thumbs up. This is Ghana. In fact, our problem began when we changed the color gold to yellow. Because the national colors are red, gold, and green. Not red, yellow, and green. Do you know that when you are too satisfied, you forget tomorrow? And when you pursue satisfaction, you ignore pain. That you cause others.
Those were the days any country that is coming to do any other activity with Ghana will panic. If it is boxing, if it is football, we have guns. I am saying, sir, Ghana is so blessed and endowed that, look, I am angry not only at Ghana, plus Nigeria. I'm not talking only about Ghana, bros, make you not hear me well. Why will you sit down for an old man? Who has already eaten and is so satisfied, use you to keep feeding himself whilst they are educating their children abroad. And you will foolishly take peanuts and destroy the future of the children your poor sperm is about to give birth to. If you are poor, your sperm is also poor. It's a gene. It's a gene. I'm not here today to give you bread and butter. I am, and if you are watching, wake up. Nigerians, wake up. Ghanaians, wake up. I'm not talking about Africa. Let me talk about the countries that concerns me. If Ghana and Nigeria becomes okay, Africa will be all right. These are the two nations that can put Africa on the track. The mineral resources of Nigeria and Ghana can make Africa the powerful nation in the whole world. Our leaders are stashing our money in the white man's country and pushing us to fight each other. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Watch it. If you like, after service, go hear messages that spiritual, eschatological, pneumatological, immunological messages. And they are connected to people they know who are stealing and destroying the nation. When the pulpit changes its identity and becomes put pit, the people of God are doomed. I will. When the pool pit is changed into put pit, the destiny of the people of God are doomed. Is doomed. It is to pull you out of the pit, not to put you. The name is pool pit, not put. Is life all about money? Siri, have you eaten? Are you there? It is thirst that kills. Look at Nigeria. I think you are seventh highest oil producing country in the world. If what Ghana has is added what Angola has is added. We will be the first. No country outside Africa is the highest and largest producer of gold. We have it here. Yet go to Dubai. Go to the Buckingham Palace. They have compensated the Jews, but they have not compensated the blacks, Africans. They carried to go build their nations for us. And still, we are letting them fool us to fight each other. They will give you money and you create war in your own country so you buy their weapons. I know, they can come after me. I already enjoyed 56. So I don't have a problem. Uh, I, I, no, I mean, I have lived 56 years. So, they can come for me. You keep quiet, I'll talk. Are you hearing me? And, and 
How many, my, my age mates will remember this song. Little drops of water. Little drops of Anakayu makes a mighty ocean while the dew drops fall. Those were the days our schools had competitions amongst themselves. Not so they hate each other, but so they know each other. So in the choir of the school, you have Aigbe, you have Ashante, you have Ada, you have Ga, but Aigbe is singing soprano because as for them, Ga is singing alto because they like fighting. Ashantis are singing tenor because they like tricking people. And then you have the fantasies with the bars because what power grows to do. And then, and then when we are going on singing competitions, yet the joy, it brought us together. How many of you love Gaia? I miss my country. I miss, I miss my country. So even when I travel outside, you cannot intimidate me. Me. Hey. For where? I know my daughter Nadoko is watching me. From that experience in Copenhagen, Denmark, she knew that nobody can intimidate the father, no matter the country. Ghana and Nigeria, we are God's hope of redeeming Africa. And if we fail, that's why any garbage they want to do to Africa, they will first try with Nigeria and Ghana. If it succeeds, all other African countries will follow. Any educated youth in Ghana or Nigeria who has no passion for the success and betterment of the, the two nations, you are a disgrace and a disappointment to your nation. And I think it is about time we start raising potential presidents amongst the youth. Can I say it again? When you give wealth and power to someone who has already lived, it is never taken care of. Keep them and go to them for counsel. But don't put them in places of authority. Can I say it again? You keep the aged for counsel. You don't place them in positions of leadership. You may be seated. And you too. Welcome to Believers House of Worship International Independence Day. Six March service. Dining with the Lord. Don't worry. This place will be in a mess very soon. Can, can I keep it, my darling? Can I keep it? Get me a Nigerian one too. These two countries. I will day on your top. Ah, till Buhari and Nanado calls me. <laughs> Nanado, tell me we are. Somebody should tell Buhari and also rock. I'll, uh, Ghana, Nigeria. Chuck. I'll day your top. Ah. The day I'll get a call. Queen. Apostle, His Excellency Nanado. You know, you know, when when any call of a man is temporal, but if it is of God, it is permanent. Amen. Today. We will bring Ghana back to where 
she belongs and to put Nigeria where she belongs. My name is Abraham Lampe. But you know what? Some people sometimes when I am preaching ask if I am a Nigerian. Because sometimes when I'm saying Jesus, I say Jesus. But can you tell me uh, the two of you stand up. Had they not been coming to church always that you knew them? Can you tell me who is a Nigerian and who is a Ghanaian? You can't. Because just at the junction, I met a young boy there who looks like you, a Ghanaian, speaking true. You look like him, but you are a Nigerian. When we went to worry, I saw a gentleman who is working in the hotel, who saved us, who looks like him. Please be seated. So Paul said, no more Jew, nor Gentile. Redemption has made all of us one. But ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you one thing for sure. God still remains God and he will forever 